the spot in Oklahoma City where on uh, April 19, 1995, Timothy McVeigh drove a rider truck full of 2,000 pounds of ammonium nitrate and parked it in front of the Murrah Federal Building, lit the fuse, and walked away. Uh, the explosion blew a gaping hole in the uh, building um, and damaged eight other buildings in the vicinity, killing 168 people, um, three of whom were pregnant women, and uh, injuring over 800 others. Uh, obviously, the building is now gone, and in its place is a memorial to the bombing uh, and the impact that it had on the nation and the world. Timothy McVeigh was a part of an anti-government right-wing subculture. He was a white supremacist, he was a follower of the Turner Diaries, he was involved in the militia movement. He and his uh, co-conspirator Terry Nichols uh, were anti-government activists and were striking out against what they thought was an evil federal government that had been responsible for uh, the events in Waco, Texas two years earlier to the day and in Ruby Ridge, Idaho. Um, and Timothy McVeigh was executed for this crime in the year 2001. It's worth pointing out that those anti-government attitudes didn't die with Timothy McVeigh and his execution. They are still a part of talk radio, uh, the anti-government uh, sentiment you hear uh, around the healthcare debate. Uh, you hear these feelings uh, expressed on Fox News and CNN on a regular basis. Uh, but it was in this place where these extreme right-wing views uh, were their most deadly. And to be here in this spot, we have to really think about where those anti-government extremist ideas end up because the government is us. We the people, we are the government. We trust the government because if we don't like it, we can change it. Um, and that's important to think about this because there are a lot of Timmy Timmy Bays out there, but hopefully there will be no more bombings like this.